in this video we will try to understand how to solve problems on ladder friction so first we'll see the problem statement over here so we are having a ladder of weight 400 newton and length 10 meter is supported on smooth wall with its lower end 4 meter from the wall now the coefficient of friction between the floor and the ladder is 0 0.3 and we have to show the various forces which are acting on the ladder and also we have to find out what will be the frictional force in this particular case now the data which is given is that weight of the ladder is 400 newton length of the ladder is 10 meter now as the wall is smooth coefficient of friction between the ladder and the wall mu w will be zero and mu f is the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor is 0 0.3 now we have to show the forces over here correct so we can show the various forces that is rw fw rf which are acting and what will be the value of ff correct that we have to find out so we can find out and we can show this particular various forces over here so let us first see the arrangement of the ladder this is the wall vertical wall and the horizontal floor and the wall the ladder is resting against the wall whose length is 10 meter central will be acting at a distance of 5 meter and the horizontal distance of the ladder is at a distance of 4 meter from the wall now as you can see over here the angle that is made by the ladder with the vertical is theta so we can say that this adjacent component will be if this hypotenuse is l then this adjacent component will be l cos theta now the various forces active and reactive forces are shown over here so this is the free body diagram w is the active force which is nothing but 400 newton then reaction offered by the reaction offered at the floor will be rf correct so here the ladder is resting and the reaction that is offered by the floor to this ladder is rf normal reaction so it will be perpendicular similarly reaction offered by the wall is also perpendicular that is rw correct here the ladder is resting at this particular point so reaction will be at that particular point the other forces are the ff that is the force of friction offered between the ladder and the floor and fw is nothing but the force of friction between the ladder and the wall and we have to see the direction of this particular fw why it is acting in the upward direction similarly direction of this ff why it is acting in the left direction now before that as this is l and as the ladder is making an angle of theta with the vertical we can say that this adjacent component is l cos theta whereas this opposite component is l sin theta and that is nothing but 4 meter and that we have not shown because it is not required for the calculation of the moment now the first step will be to calculate this angle theta so we can say that if the right in the right angle triangle a b c sin theta will be equal to opposite side that is 4 meter divided by hypotenuse that is nothing but 10 meter so we can say that it is nothing but bc divided by ac and we'll get the value of sin theta as 4 upon 10 or we can say that theta is equal to sin inverse of 4 upon 10 or theta is 23.58 now suppose the ladder slips then it will slip in this particular fashion and the motion will be in the downward direction over here against the wall and therefore frictional force will always act opposite to the direction of the motion so force of friction between the ladder and wall will be in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction as shown by this particular arrow similarly as you can see when the ladder slip it will slip in this particular direction against along the floor and therefore the force of friction will be acting in the opposite direction that is towards the left direction and its magnitude is given by mu f into rf so these are the reason for taking the reaction ff in the left direction the force of friction we are taken in the left direction and the force of uh, friction offered by the wall is we have taken in the upward direction correct those are in the opposite direction to that of the uh, motion of the ladder when it slips correct so let us start with the calculation of the various other components first we we'll so first we'll try to understand the various meaning of the various terms so mu f as we have already seen this is the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor that is 0.3 mu w is the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the wall and it is zero because it is given that the wall is smooth 
then RF is the normal reaction at flow that is nothing but at point C then RW is the normal reaction at the wall that is nothing but at point A which we have already seen FF is nothing but mu F into RF now substitute the value of mu F mu F is nothing but 0 0.3 into RF RF is unknown then FW is mu W into RW now mu W is 0 so therefore FW will be 0 so these are the various terms which are required for the calculation of the problem now we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium so first condition of equilibrium is summation of fx is equal to 0 forces towards right they are considered as positive whereas forces towards left they are considered as negative so rw is acting in the positive x direction so it is rw is positive and ff is acting in the negative x direction so that is negative so rw minus ff is equal to 0 so rw is equal to ff that is our first equation then summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0 upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative so fw is positive rf is positive whereas w is acting in the negative x direction so it is negative so fw per plus rf minus w is equal to 0 or we can say that 0 plus rf minus 400 is equal to 0 fw is 0 because force of friction at wall is 0 because mu w is 0 that we have already seen so value of rf is nothing but 400 newton now we can apply the next condition of the equilibrium that is the summation of moment about a is equal to 0 considering clockwise forces positive and anti-clockwise forces negative so let us start with w w will produce the clockwise moment about point a and the perpendicular distance is nothing but 2 correct so this is the perpendicular distance or this is the perpendicular distance then ff that will also produce clockwise moment correct so we can say that this ff is also producing the clockwise moment about a and the perpendicular distance is nothing but l cos theta because the line of action of this particular ff can be considered over here also correct so this is the perpendicular distance that is L cos theta and RF will produce anti-clockwise moment correct it will produce anti-clockwise moment about A and the perpendicular distance is 4 meter so those values we have written over here now transfer this negative term on the other side it will become positive and then again we will transfer W into 2 on the other side which is positive so it will become negative so rf into 4 minus w into 2 will be the value of ff into l cos theta now divide by this l cos theta so that will get the value of ff so substitute the value rf is 400 into 4 w is also 400 so if you make the calculation then we will get the force of friction which is required to be calculated as 87.29 so this is our required answer so in this way we can solve the examples on ladder friction Thank you very much for watching.